Hi, it's Jennifer Allen here. And I'm here to bring you a three-part summer wellness series. So um, I am a yoga teacher. I'm an Ayurvedic wellness coach and a life purpose coach. And the practices I wanna share with you today are practices I often use with my clients in the summertime. So in the summertime, we're getting hot. The heat is building in the environment. It's often building within us as well. So you might get hot, you might get agitated, a little short tempered, feeling like you're stretched a little bit too thin. Um, and what I wanna give you are a few breath practices to balance that. Breath practices that bring calming and soothing and cooling to our body and our body's nervous system. Okay, so take a comfortable seat. <clears throat> Close the eyes. And we'll first start with just becoming aware of the breath. Notice if the breath is hot or jagged, if it's smooth and slow. And then from there, I'd like you to deepen and lengthen the breath just a little bit, not, uh, not over efforting or straining or forcing in any way, but just take a little bit deeper breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And then from here, we're gonna take the right hand, uh, fingertips up and the thumbs kind of inside the first finger. And we're just gonna place it over the right nostril. We're gonna continue that nice breath in and out just through the left nostril. We're gonna continue left nostril breathing. For just a few minutes. If you're blocked in the left nostril in any way, just bring the hands back in the lab and continue the smooth, even breathing through both nostrils. But if you can breathe through that left nostril only, that's really great. The left side of the body is more of our feminine side. Um, it's, it can bring real cooling, um, real calming uh, energy to our being. All right, one more breath here. In and out through the left nostril as you exhale. We'll release the hand in the lap. And just breathing through both nostrils for a moment. If the eyes were open, closing them, notice how you feel. All right, so that's the first, uh, sort of the first and second breath uh, techniques. First is just to um, calm the breathing down and to take slow and even um, breaths in and out through both nostrils. Then you shift into that left nostril breathing, okay? The next breathing practice I wanna share with you, it's called shitali or shitali, and it's known as the cooling breath. 
So I want to explain it a little bit before we practice it together. Um, part of this is genetics. So what you need to do is stick the tongue out of the mouth and roll it like a taco. And so I'm unable to do that. And uh, so what you can do if you're not able to do that is just breathe through an open mouth. Okay, so either stick your tongue out, roll it like a taco, that's the inhale. Close the mouth, exhale through the nose. Okay, or like you're um, gonna place your mouth over a straw. My personal favorite is a variation. And you take the tongue behind the front teeth and you breathe through an open mouth that way. Close the mouth, exhale through the nose. Okay, so this breath is really cooling. It's like an evaporative cooling or air conditioning for your entire body. Um, not only if you're physically overheating, like you've been working out in the sun too long, um, running a lot of errands. It can also be um, if you're kind of mentally running hot. So if you're agitated, irritated, frustrated, this is a great breath to cool the body and the mind. Okay, well, let's do a practice of Shatali or Shitali cooling breath together. So you choose either the rolled tongue, uh, the, the O mouth or the tongue behind the teeth, okay? Again, you can close the eyes if you'd like. Feel the cool air move into the mouth. One more round. Pause here. Keep the eyes closed. Notice how you feel, both in the mind and in the body. And as you inhale, open the eyes. Okay, so these are just a few breath practices that can really serve you through the hotter months of the year. What I'd like to leave you with are just a few other tips for how can you stay cool this summer. So one would be to um, avoid the direct midday sun, if you can. So um, from the hours of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., maybe even a little bit later, 4 p.m., if you can avoid being in, in direct sun, that would be great. Um, spend as much time in and on and near and around water as you can. So head to the pool, head to the lakes, head to the rivers um, and spend time near the water, okay? So I'll leave it at that. I hope some of these practices serve you well. Um, I look forward to coming together again for part two where we will explore a yoga practice or a physical movement practice that can cool the body. All right, again, this is Jennifer Allen. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day.